Hi there, my name is Frank Gates. I am one of the pastors at Cold Springs Church. And I want to share with you a little bit of the history of the homeless shelter and how the homeless ministry that we have in El Dorado County got started. In 2006, as my church family at Cold Springs wrestled with the, the idea of, of serving our community and we wrestled with how we can best impact our community, um, we would meet and we would pray. And at one point, I realized that one way we could serve our community was there are homeless people. So I went out and really wanted to start handing out sandwiches, but since I don't like making sandwiches, I went and bought a bunch of burritos at Taco Bell because um, they're only a buck back then. And what a great way to go. So I started handing out burritos and asking people if I were going to serve a meal to the homeless, where would I do it? And they all said, oh, this camp or that camp, or we all meet and congregate over here. Um, so in 2006, we began two days a week serving a meal. Over the years, we've partnered with several other churches and faith-based organizations and groups. And now there is a lunch served at local homeless camps 365 days a year. So as we fed, we realized that there was a bigger problem, that El Dorado County gets cold in the winter. Um, so we started wrestling with the idea of how would it look to have a homeless shelter at our church? And could we get other churches involved? Could we get other churches to, to take part? And in 2008, we at Cold Springs opened up our church one night a week for the homeless. We invited the homeless in and gave them food and some shelter. Um, a couple of weeks later, another church joined us. The Methodist Church down in Rescue joined us. The next year, four other churches joined us and, and for the last several years we've had churches hosting a, a homeless shelter at their church different church every night um, seven days a week through the six coldest months of the year the shelter is actually a, a nomadic shelter and it goes from church to church to church to church um, night after night so we have actually a portable shelter we have mats we have carts, we have sleeping bags, we have blankets, mm -hmm. and it goes from church to church. Volunteers would show up and we'd start unpacking and convert and transform our youth building into a homeless shelter for the night. Once people are all set up and the volunteers have everything ready to go, then the vans go and they pick people up. We have three different pickups this year. Um, pick people up and bring them back to the church. They come in, they sign in, they sign the rules, they register, they check their bags. Then we have a team of volunteers that have cooked a meal. At this point we pray, um, just welcome people, make them feel like they're loved, they're cared for, let them know, you know that we, we are glad they're there, and we welcome them in. Once everybody's settled, once everybody's welcomed, we serve a meal, we share a meal together. Um, people hang out, they play games. They, they read the Bible, they pray, watch a movie, and really it's just a safe, wonderful place to be. It's, it's warm, um, it's inviting, and it's safe. Most. To help, first thing we want is your prayers. Beyond prayers, really we need all sorts of resources. Of course, money is always nice. Great, we can always use money. There's, there, there's sleeping bags, there's, there's blankets we need to buy, there's mats we need to buy. We have three vans that we're running and operating, so we need gas, we need maintenance, we need insurance. There's great opportunity to volunteer. We, we, we need meals to be cooked, we need drivers, we need cleanup people, we need, we need people to be there and love people and share Jesus with people and serve a meal. I can 